how ridiculous is all of this stuff behind me hey everybody what's up welcome back to my channel if you are new here hi i'm gracie and i'm going on the spring 2020 voyage of semester at sea If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe down below and join us. There'll be so many Semester at Sea videos coming out really soon. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram because that's where all the fun happens. Guys, this has been a dream of mine for like five years now. I've had my deposit down since February, literally the first day they opened it up. So I've been accepted for over a year and I've known that I've been going for almost a year. And now I leave tomorrow, literally tomorrow for San Diego. And it's the most insane thing ever because... I'm not done packing because I have too much stuff and um this has been a super requested video you guys really want to know what I'm packing for semester at sea so I thought okay well I packed today I might as well just kind of show you I'm only sending New Year's Day and maybe the day after in LA we fly into LA to visit my grandpa then we're all going down to San Diego and then we'll be there for a couple of days and then I leave on the 4th which is Saturday out of Ensenada Mexico there will be a move-in vlog don't you worry about that but yes Here's all the stuff. Should I start off with my coat, the only coat I'm bringing? Yep. So basically I have two of these LLB duffel bags. These are the large size. I have purchased two extra large, two large and a medium because I couldn't decide. And the extra large are too big for planes. So if I was just driving down, it'd be totally fine, but not for flying. So I'm using the two larges. There's one over there and this one here. This one has clothes in it, exploding with clothes. And the other one is going to have snacks and shoes and other things. And then I have a little backpacky thing right here um, that's sort of like my carry-on. And then I have a backpack as well for like a personal item. <laughs> it's a lot, but I mean, I'm going away for four months and I don't want to leave out anything that I can't buy while I'm abroad, but I don't want to pack too much. So I'm in that in between where I'm like, ah, super stressed. So I'm going to kind of finalize things and then I will show you everything I'm packing for the next four months this of my life. This first packing cube is pretty basic. I've got one sweatshirt. This is a Pi Fi sweatshirt I love to wear. And then all the pants. Actually, this is one little um, Princess Polly romper I've been dying to wear and kind of bought it for a semester at sea. I have two pairs of jeans, this black pair and this blue pair. Um, and then I have another two little tops in here some flowy pants in a tan a pink and a black of my polka dot and then just a pair of jean shorts packing cube number two consists of one just zip up hoodie and then the rest of these are bottoms so i've got some leggings in here a couple of pairs of running shorts um, a couple more pairs of leggings maybe i'm bringing too many black leggings i don't know um, a pair of navy leggings and then i've got two pairs of sweatpants and then just this fun pink tennis skirt. This next packing cube contains my robe and then just like four pairs of pajamas. One, two, three, four, and then like an extra really soft shirt. It has quite the variety in it. I have all my bathing suits in here. The tops are here and the bottoms are down here. And then I've got a couple pairs of workout leggings and then just two pairs of workout shorts and then a couple pairs of workout tops or sports bras and then just some little bralettes to sleep in. This next packing cube is strictly for socks and my slippers. I have two sort of fancier outfits, um, a romper and a little jumpsuit here. And then underneath I brought just a couple of Pi Fi t-shirts to wear around the boat. Um, five of my favorite, I guess, because I had to ration them out. And then some little tank tops that I got at Express and like a navy t-shirt. And on this side underneath I have like a white t-shirt and some... Um, white and black tank tops and then in this final one I've got a couple of sweaters for the colder countries like Japan and China so I've got this one a black one a little black zip up and then a light pink sweater under here and then just this green um, long sleeve t-shirt and some outfits that are like business casual but also could be do done and worn for fancy dinner and then of course I do have this one with sleep masks some underwear and then I have some with bras on the inside down there and there it is every single packing cube fits Plus, I added a little blanket on the side in here, and now hopefully we can get this thing to zip. Success. I don't know how I just did that, but everything is inside of here. And now all I have to deal with is the rest of it. I am surrounded by all of my snacks. Basically, when you go on semester at sea, they tell you to pack way more snacks than you would ever think, and to fill up at least half of a duffel bag. 
filled with snacks. So this is kind of what we're looking at right now um, of all of my snacks and I have to figure out first the important things to go in here and then what snacks will actually come. Yes, this entire bag is filled with protein bars. A little bit of beef jerky, but all protein bars because I'm obsessed. And then just some various like pretzel crisps, fruity pebbles, Oreo thins, um, that's detergent, goldfish, pop tips, uh, extra toasty cheese it There's a couple other things down there. Um, Ritz toasted chips, these things are amazing. They're salt and vinegar almonds. Lots and lots and lots of gum. So yeah, well, all my shoes stacked in there, some vitamins, extra makeup, all kinds of toiletries with some books shoved behind them, um, and a little scrub bag inside of here. And now we're gonna fill this part up all with snacks. Here is the current state of the bag filled to the brim with most of the snacks. Oops, this is supposed to go there. We've got a little bit more space back here. Just added some spark stick packs. Um, I did orange and pink lemonade over there. And then I'm gonna add this in, which is an over the door hanger, super highly recommended by everybody. So that's gonna go sort of in that space. And then I've got quite a few things left. Um, I heard there's a trip to Walmart in Hawaii, so I'm gonna leave the things I know I'll kind of be able to find in Hawaii, like Fruity Pebbles, which is unfortunate, but you know, gotta do it. And uh, maybe try and stick one of those potato chip bags in here, because I love those chips. Or another thing of pretzels, because I also love to eat pretzels, but it's looking pretty full, and it's definitely going to be overweight. All right, so I think this is everything I'm getting in here just because I have a little bit more room to put some more snacks or things, but I think it'll be way too heavy already. So, but I did manage to fit one of those little exotic chip snack packs in here, a speaker, some blossers, some like extra little things, even these little disposable cameras. I have some packs of those in there, um, all kinds of stuff, but that's kind of what I'm packing. The rest of the items are fitting in this gray backpack. Like I said, I've got some things up here like Q-tips and like a little first aid kit in these pouches already. And then over here, yes, the Gucci belt is coming. Um, a travel sized thing of like liquid containers. These haven't been used yet because they won't let you bring them on with anything in them to begin with. But I've got that little pack, um, different things of vitamins, my probiotics, my one a day vitamins, and then vitamin C. I've got this whole bag of toiletries, which is great. Um, the world travel adapter kit, my new set of curling irons, my flat iron, um, a little travel backpack that zips up in this little pouch, a little travel um, beanie pack type thing. My travel purse is down there in black, so you can't really see it. Um, this lily thing is a jewelry holder, and then underneath it is nothing actually. <laughs> and so I'm leaving a little bit of room to put um, I have my own little toiletries bag that'll go in sort of at the end tomorrow with toothbrush and other like last minute things, contact lens cases. And then of course I have all of my medication, um, malaria and all kinds of stuff in there that's just got my information on it. So I'm holding it aside, but that is kind of it. So those are the bags that I get. Oh, and my backpack. This is the Stony Clover Lane backpack I have been raving about. I've got my foreign currencies in the front pouch here with some glass screen protectors for the phones that I'm bringing. Yes, I'm bringing two phones, like iPhone 8s, um, the little small ones, because there's just extra phones that we had. I put like extra little cases on them and they're gonna get SIM cards in each country. And I heard people's phones get stolen a lot, so that's why I'm bringing two. And the other one is somewhere. So in addition to those, I've got some little like playing cards, a lot of hand sanitizer. I might take out some of these, but my mom gave me a huge box of just these little pure all hand sanitizers. I could never have too many. Um, this has all of my chargers and different things in it. Same brand as this. I found them on Amazon, but they're really cool. Um, two pairs of sunglasses, my actual um, reading glasses are in here with an extra pair of contacts. And then in this pouch here, I've got all kinds of school supplies. I love this. Um, little pouch. This is Bon Voyage. And it's kind of got the world watercolor on it. It's from Red Dress Boutique. I love it. Um, then I have my blue light glasses in this little container. I brought a journal to journal in, my agenda, some journaling pens, and then all my semester. See, super important information in this blue folder. And then in the pink folders, I'm just going to do school stuff and like my Japan Rail Pass is in here right now um, and stuff like that. And then just one notebook because that's kind of all I have. 
Um, and then of course I'll stick my laptop in here in the morning relief. And of course my passport that is like the single-handedly most important thing. This and my yellow fever card are the two most important things I need to bring. So yeah, it all kind of fits perfectly in this adorable little bag. As you can see, it's a lot. It's four months. It's being in countries far away. It's the craziest 106 days I'm ever going to have in my life. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. And of course, guys, like I said, all the fun happens on my Instagram. I hope to be posting on there a lot. I heard it's kind of difficult to get videos up. So especially if you're not hearing from me, you'll definitely see from me on there. So make sure you subscribe to do that. But that is kind of everything that I'm packing. I hope this is kind of what you guys wanted to see, but I'm going out to sea tomorrow and I've got, again, two large size L.L. Bean duffels, this little gray carry-on from Amazon, and then that Stony Clover lane bag. So that's kind of what I've got. Now for the rest of the day, I'm making returns at Target. I have to take down and put away my Christmas tree and then just completely clean up my room. Um, oh, I also got to bring these. I think I'm going to clip these on my backpack. These are new. Beast headphones. I can't forget those. And my GoPro. I gotta find where to put this and my vlog camera. Very important um, external accessories. We will figure all that out later, but that is everything that I'm packing. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like it. And again, subscribe down below. I hope that you guys are able to see my adventures for the next four months. And I really, 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 really do hope that you enjoy and that maybe it inspires you to do something like this because maybe it's not semester at sea, maybe it's just do something completely out of your comfort zone. I don't know, but regardless, I love you guys so much and I'll see you so soon. Bye.